Welcome to the Goth Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello everyone, I'm your teacher for this question. The question says refer to functions f, g, h, k, p, and q given by the following graphs. For the function p, find any points of discontinuity. Okay, so first let's try to find the graph. So we're looking for graph function p right here. And we should find that this one, sorry, let me erase that. This one is the one we're looking for. Let me draw this. Okay, my hand drawing is a little bit, it's beautiful. <laughs> No, it's not. It's funny. Okay, so uh, something like that. And we have two lines right here. One's from the left to the right. And there is a circle here. And the other one is below the x-axis and goes straight down. Okay, and two arrows. Okay, now this is the origin. Let me write it a bit longer. Okay. Now this is one, this is two, so and this is negative one. So the x and y coordinate for these two points are two one and two negative one. Okay, so um, if you still remember the types of discontinuities, you would find that because there is a physical gap in between, this is actually called the jump discontinuity. So jump discontinuity okay this is called a jump discontinuity because of the physical gap in between okay <clears throat> so where is the discontinuity exists and it's obviously that exists and so when x so when x is equal to 2, and there is a physical gap in between. And also, if we look at the points, you would find that these are empty holes. So these are empty holes. So they are circles, not solid uh, circle. Okay, they're empty circles in, between, in the middle. But this actually means that no points. So, so in short, no point here, okay? No point here. But for the solid one, it means it continues. So continuity here. Okay, so uh, my sound weird. One means that uh, no point exists here. Another one means uh, there is a point right here, okay? So now uh, let's finish the statement so when x is equal to 2 discontinuity occurs so discontinuity occurs and to be more specific the jump discontinuity occurs so let me put uh, i should say jump discontinuity occurs okay so uh, actually that should be it so x equal to 2, jump discontinuity occurs. Okay, so what we can take away from this question is how to find, how to find discontinuity when we look at graphs. If it's a jump discontinuity, it's very straightforward. You just look for the physical gap in between. And you would see empty holes or empty circles when you look at, when you look at jump discontinuity and there are the types of discontinuity such as uh, removable I'm sorry so such as removable let me write it right here removable and the uh, infinite infinite discontinuity but these two things are very different from this kind of jump discontinuities um, in the future, if you see questions that are related to these two top topics, uh, we'll talk about more uh, about these two kinds, okay? For, but for now, just remember the jump discontinuity is very enough. Okay, so that's, what it, that's all for this video. See you in the next video.